guys today we will discuss uh, formation of graphene follicle that means when the ova is formed how the ovarian follicle gets developed around the oocyte suppose this is ova firstly this is ovary and we have so far discussed it that ovum is formed from the diploid cells haploid ovum gets formed now the ova is surrounded by ova is contained in ovarian follicle so how ovarian follicle gets developed today our main discussion is how ovarian get a uh, follicle gets developed around the oocyte this is oocyte and yani mature ovum what happens is that in this stroma some cells get surrounded some stromal cells surround the oocyte and these stromal cells are nothing but they are called follicular cells this is ovum and around the ovum some cells from the stroma of the ovary this is a stroma suppose some cells some stromal cells get surround this ova and these cells are called follicular cells some cells from these follicular cells become platinate this is ova of course 22 plus x some cells become polyplatinate and surround the ova some stromal cells surround the ova these stromal cells together with the ova is called primordial follicle so what is primordial follicle primordial follicle is nothing but the oocyte surrounded by flat cells number of primordial follicles are present at birth जो ही इंसान जन्म लेता है तो ओवैरी में बहुत सारे प्रीमोडियल फॉलिकल्स पाए जाते हैं लेकिन इनकी मैच्योरिटी कब होती है सिर्फ प्योबैरिटी पे एक शख्स को कैसे पता चलेगा हाउ वी कम टू नो दैट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द प्रीमोडियल फॉलिकल हैज टेक प्लेस वो हमें तब पता चलेगा जब ये फॉलिक्यूलर सेल्स जो कि सराउंड करती है ओवो को कल्यूमनर बन जाएगी अगर ये सेल्स जो कि फॉलिक्यूलर सेल्स थी अगर ये कल्यूमनर बन गई इसका मतलब ये है कि डेवलपमेंट स्टाफ्ट हो गई प्रीमोडियल फॉलिकल की ये सेल्स अब फ्लैट नहीं रही ये सेल्स कल्यूमनर बन गई अब इस ओवोसाइड का नाम टुगेदर विद दिस कॉल्यूमनर सेल्स हम तब इसको नाम देंगे primary follicle so primary follicle is nothing but it is the that very follicle which contains oocyte surrounded by columnar cells that is primary follicle so primary follicle is nothing but oocyte surrounded by columnar cells now what happens is that this oocyte here and these columnar cells around columnar cells around the oocyte what happens is that a membrane gets developed this one this orange one this get is developed between the oocyte and these columnar cells 
this homogeneous membrane throughout the oocyte this membrane is called nothing but zona pellucida so what is zona pellucida it is a homogeneous pellucida it is a homogeneous membrane which gets developed between the columnar cells and oocyte now the next stage what happens is that <coughs> proliferation of these columnar cells take place proliferation now this is the this is oocyte this is oocyte surround it is zona pellucida now the columnar cells undergo proliferation they get developed they undergo proliferation to form a compact mass of follicles around the oocyte and now this follicle is called a secondary follicle it forms a compact mass around the oocyte it is secondary follicle <clears throat> now in this compact mass what happens is that this is firstly i make here the oocyte surround it is zona pellucida homogeneous membrane around it what happens is that in this compact mass a cavity gets developed at the periphery a cavity gets developed this cavity is called a follicular cavity these are columnar cells and in this compact mass on the side one cavity gets developed that is called a follicular cavity other name for follicular cavity is antrum this follicular cavity contains fluid that is called a liquor now the next step is this follicular cavity it will increase in size it will increase in size and the follicle surrounding the ovum become thin and when it become thin it will separate the oocyte from it so that very part which will attach the these follicular cells to the oocyte part of attachment is called cumulus ophorus now certain <clears throat> stromal cells surround the oocyte as it enlarges it becomes thin these follicular cells become thin due to the liquor cavity because of the fluid in it some stromal cells surround the ova and these form the theca externa what is theca externa these are nothing but these are the stromal cells surrounded the granulosa cells they form a covering around the ova that is called the theca externa <clears throat> at first what happens that this follicle is very small but as it develops as the cavity gets bigger and bigger 
these follicular cells ultimately these follicular cells which touch here the uh, which touch here only just o side but as it uh, antrum get is developed this becomes so and so much increased that it touches the surface of the ovary it touches the surface and when it touches the surface surface becomes thin because of the pressure and that very surface at which it touches and becomes thin that is called a stigma through this stigma what happens that ovum is get relieved ovum gets released because it is in this follicular cells that has a pressure now so stigma get is developed and uh, ovum comes through it and the process of release of ovum from this ovarian follicle is called ovulation now we will discuss in our next lecture fertilization process